The reflection today is based a bit on my education, my training, and also on some things that were said recently in the news. A number of my degrees are based on healthcare. Of my PhDs, two of the three are healthcare related. I'm a PhD trained healthcare economist. It's also a regular economist, but I have a specialization in healthcare. The other degree is healthcare outcomes. It's a policy degree. It looks at, um, from a policy perspective, the effects of this treatment and how it affects the patient, what the basis of the outcome is, how the patient will respond. So if I'm looking at patient A, how they will respond better of, patient, of this treatment versus that treatment, what are the statistics? And I can use that to tell a doctor, okay, with this patient, you are best to choose this treatment because for an 82 year old man, this will have the least cause. This will have the least side effects. This will have your best result. That is what I do. With my other degrees, I help the patient, I advocate for the patient. I have degrees in business, I have degrees in counseling, I have degrees in advocacy, so I can do everything. The reflection today is called worth or value of a human person. The statement, I am not worthy, equals each of these following statements. I am not of value. I am beneath your notice. I am beneath contempt. I should not be counted. I am subhuman. Do to me as you will. In the US society, this is the message clearly sent to many of our citizens. In the United States, this message is sent by those who believe they are entitled by merit of nothing more than they work and are offered the opportunity to purchase health insurance at exorbitant rates, allowing in the US what is banned in the rest of the world for people and companies to profit off the illness and death of the individuals. Nowhere else in the world is insurance, health insurance offered for profit. Another person may make twice the wage of the entitled person this person putting on airs, the person putting themselves in position of judgment, thus violating the laws of Jesus, violating the law of God the Father Almighty. That the entitled person has health care and believes that only those with value should have access to health care. And that health care, access to health care, determines their value. The message they are sending is this, though they will deny it when they read it here. No child is of value. All children are beneath contempt, subhuman, and should be allowed to die if they get sick or hurt, unless their parent has health insurance. They shouldn't be allowed to have that CHIPS program, Child Health Care Insurance Program, because it prolonged the suffering of sick, poor children. No elderly, per elderly person is of value. All of the retired and elderly persons are subhuman and beneath contempt. They don't count as human because they don't have their own insurance. They don't count for anything but extra waste and they should most definitely be allowed to die or be assisted along the way. If they get sick, or have long-term illnesses or fall and get hurt. They should waste that they waste valuable healthcare resources that should be reserved for those who will benefit from the care by living years longer rather than just weeks or months. Turn off the machines. No mentally handicapped person has value at all and shouldn't be allowed to survive at birth. There is no reason to give any medical care to these creatures. These things at birth, because they always be burdens, 
and so shouldn't ever be encouraged to live. Those that survive should not be given medical care because there were mistakes caused by some sin of the parents or from the mother using drugs. It's always the mother's fault, of course, never the father's. Be merciful and just kill it. No physically disabled person has any value unless she or he can live entirely independently and earn a, its own wage. If sick or injured, look to the elderly, ways to resources above, <clears throat> and move on. No unemployed person has value unless he or she can earn his own wage and immediately return to work and take care of his or her own needs. For this last category, there is no safety net, no social security, no Medicare, no welfare, no food stamps. They must make it on their own. Now, if you agreed with a single sentence above, you are already lost, already beyond redemption. You have judged others as unworthy of life, a job only God may do. And you have already been condemned to Gehenna. You are covered in darkness. But if you wish to change and soften your rock-hard heart and beg for forgiveness of God and every other person you have violated, trespassed against, and beg for God's grace and work for redemption by showing your change in attitude, show you mean your change not in just words but in action, and bring a few other fellows in need of similar repentance for you, with you. Show your change. Show all how your heart is softened. Mark for all the world the change that God has made in you. Like selling the immoral healthcare stock and giving all profits to the program to benefit healthcare to the groups above. Give unto Caesar that which is Caesar's. But if you don't change, start living in darkness now, turn off the lights, and get used to pain and heat.